Good morning. Today is March 28th. It's 10.20 a.m. And my name is Sharanda and I'm a second grade teacher here in South Carolina. And welcome to my channel. Alright, so like I was saying, it's 10.20 a.m. I have about 15 minutes before I have to go get my kids. Um, I already put up the computers. Um... And this morning, so far, we've done science. We filled it on our March Madness books for the Elite Eight, and then, or from the Elite Eight. And then we did math. And math today, or this week, we're talking about partitioning rectangles. Last week, last week we did arrays. This week, we did partitioning rectangles. And I did pull groups today, but tomorrow I'm going to start because I think some of them are actually kind of starting to figure out how to do multiplication from our arrays and our partitioning rectangles. So I'm gonna work with them on that because some of them I really want to learn. We also did like two rounds of knockout. We did one side versus the other side and then we did girls versus boys. They really like that game. And we did that right before art. So now they're in art. Um, and actually I'm gonna share with you the books that they voted for. So. Um, science took a little bit longer because we did a mystery science today, so all we had enough time for in fluency was to vote on our books. So, the eight books that were left that were chosen were Layla's Lunchbox, Alma and How She Got Her Name, Sui, Paleterio Man, um, Drawn Together, Hansel and Gretel, but by Rachel Isadora, um, Water Protectors, and... And... And, oh my gosh, here's one more. Let me look it up. Oh, and, um, or I said them all. Oh, no. Um, it was Sully, Alma, and how she got her name, Water Protectors, Hansel and Gretel, but the African version. Drawn Together, Arielli is a Dreamer, Paleterio Man, and Layla's Lunchbox. Those were the eight. And then out of those eight, they had to pick four. So Layla's Lunchbox, and let me just show you. Hold on. All right, so from these two, let me make it bigger. Um, Layla's Lunchbox in this book, I figured this one would win. They really liked that book. And then out of these two, this one won. And then out of these two, surprisingly, the water protector is one of one. I thought they would choose this one. This is Hansel and Gretel. And then the last one, they chose Sully. They really like that one. So those are the four that they're going to vote on tomorrow. And I really wanted to try maybe even read the books over again, but we just don't have time for that. So they voted and then tomorrow they'll vote on, I think that Paleterio Man, I hope I'm saying it right. And Drawn Together are going to go together. And then Water Protectors and Sully will go up against each other. So we can get our final two. And then on Wednesday, on our half day, we'll decide who is the winner. And then on Thursday, we're doing like a March Madness basketball theme day. Um, so that's when I'll announce which one won. But they really like doing this Google Forms because then while they're um, submitting their survey or answers or whatever... I'll pull up the pie chart and they like to see it change and then we talk about the pie chart and um, obviously they know like which one's winning based off of how much which color is taking up most of the circle. So we did that today. Um, now I'm about to put their graded papers in their folders, make sure that they put their newsletter in their folder, make sure that they turned in their folder. Um, that way it'll be great for them by the end of the day. I'm going to I know I think that's all I'm gonna have time for today and then I need to um, find something for them to watch because uh, while they're watching something I think I am going to work on what they're gonna do for DI time because I still have two kids that need to finish the district testing or the state testing I guess really um, so I really need to make sure I'm finding something for them to do um, and yeah, so let's get into it now. Alright, 
It is the end of the day. It's about 3.07. I'm headed to my first hearing session. Uh, I just got out of... <clears throat> we had... <clears throat> library today which I forgot and so we did not get to writing and we got to a little bit of reading we just didn't read the book so we'll just have to read it tomorrow um and we got through most of the spelling words except for like two of them so we'll just do all that tomorrow after that we packed up and all that stuff and then I had a great level meeting we just talked about plans and other stuff for the upcoming weeks and then after that, I had to leave early because I had a meeting with all the principals. We have two assistant principals and one principal. Well, duh. One principal, a principal, and then two assistant principals. Um, just with an issue that happened. But we'll just say I had a meeting with the principal and the two assistant principals today um, just to kind of give them an update on my class. Um, so I did that. Now I'm out at to tutoring. It is hot outside. Um, after this, I need to go home, do the rest of my observation logs. Because I'm going to turn those in tonight and hopefully get on the graduation list for May 21st. Sorry, sent out that email. Because um, I only have one last task to do, and that's just turning in my field experience hours. And I honestly, I start this class in September or December. I've had the hours for a long time because I'm always doing things with my ELL kids. So I have, I know for sure I have more than enough hours. I just keep forgetting to log them. So I'm having to go back and backtrack a little bit um, on some of the lessons just so I can unlock those hours and get those hours because I have to get 30 hours. And the reason why it takes so long is because our lessons for everything, or at least for me, are not that long because my kids' attention span is not that long. At most, I am going to be doing a lesson for 30 minutes. Honestly, not even that. So I'm having to log a lot of hours versus if I were to have longer lessons, it wouldn't be so many hours to log. Um, so yeah, I need to finish doing that. I have about I have 20 hours I logged last night or I have, what do I have? Do I have 20 hours? I did either 20 or I have like 18 or 19 hours. I'm gonna do the rest of them tonight. Turn that in. I already emailed and hopefully I just realized that I don't know how long the graduation application process takes. So hopefully everything can be done by this week. I already sent an email and I actually need to go ahead and call them just to make sure that what I read is true. Cause as long as I finish everything this week, I'll be good to go because we've already booked our tickets and everything. So at this point, I have to be on that list for graduation in May to go to Philadelphia because I don't think we can get our money back. So actually, yeah, let me call them now and I will be right back. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I am on schedule and I should be able, since I'm in my, I don't have to actually finish the course to be able to RSVP. So, um, I should be able to graduate in Philadelphia. And I was very concerned because in one of the little handbook things, it said that um, the date, the place where you are requesting to graduate from, because they have like different places or um, different dates in different states. It said that the date or the um, place that you were requesting to graduate from, um, you may not be able to get it. And so I was really nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, we already purchased our ticket. So I just called and she was like, um it's partially true because they do have to put that clause out there just in case they reach capacity but she said she didn't think they were in reach capacity so i'm very excited to hear that and now all i do is just do my part she said um all i had to do was just send that email saying i'm in my last class um and i need to rsvp and then um they'll send me something back probably by wednesday so i can rsvp for graduation and then next week or the week after probably um, during spring break, I'm going to um, go ahead and order my cap and gown, excuse me, order my cap and gown and stuff like that because I have to have all that stuff done by the 29th. So I'm really excited. I'm so glad to be done with school. I hate doing work. Well, I just like doing work. 
Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for that. Um, I am, I also changed my date to go to Mississippi. So, um, I was going to take off on April 8th, which is the Friday before spring break. And normally we're not supposed to do that kind of stuff, taking off before a holiday, but the flight left on Thursday and we'll come back on Monday. Cause I still want to have some of my spring break with my family. But then, after I booked the flight, they sent out an email saying that we're having field day again this year, and it's on April 8th. So then last night, I went on and I changed the flight, and it was a $200 extra. And one of my team teachers, um, not team teachers, um, co-teachers, or whatever, she teaches second grade. She's like, girl, if we don't just take that day, they will be fine. So I think I might go back and switch it because that was, I had to pay an extra $200 to change my flight from Thursday to Friday. And this is a new airline. My friend who I'm going to visit, she took it. She said it was pretty good. So I'm going to try it, but it was an extra $200. I'd rather keep the extra $200 in my pocket. So I'm going to see if maybe I could go back and change it. And I really do want to be with them for field day, but I'll be okay if they're not. And then for graduation, um, we're leaving out on a Friday night. And the Friday night that we leave out on, our second grade is having a play, which I won't be able to go to. So I'm like, people are just planning all these things on when I'm gonna be absent. It's like they know I'm gonna be absent. Just like, oh, we're gonna do it when she's not here. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm about to go into this tutoring now. And I will see you when I get out. Bye-bye.